shout out to Marco Pedrano, AMG, Victor, Alfredo Jr., Dan Real, Vidmantis, Christopher Graves, Mata Alcusa, Nathan Arseno, and Touch My Dilly. Welcome back, Game Waking family, to another F1 Clash video. And yes, guys, 20k subs, we've made it. Appreciate you guys so much for all your support. Uh, appreciate all your subscribers, all you viewers, all of you who are not yet subscribed. Make sure to subscribe, help us grow. Uh, and yeah, really thank you guys so much for all your support. 100, and we'll be doing a giveaway soon. All right, so in today's video, uh, to celebrate our 20k sub special, uh, we're gonna be starting a brand new F1 Clash account. As you can see, we've completed our pit pass, uh, so we do not, we no longer get trophies for any race completed. So at this point in the game, all you can do is race for crates and use those bucks and open those crates if you have bucks. And if you don't have any bucks, you have to wait for the timer to expire. Uh, then you can race for another crate. So you have a lot of times and time on your hand at this point. So I'll be creating a brand new account here uh, that will be 100% free to play. I will not be spending any paid bucks on that account. Uh, so it will be 100% free to play and I'll be just making some videos on that account for you guys uh, Just to show you the difference between free to play and pay to play uh, in the game All right, so let's jump on into what you need to create a brand new account now If you want to create a brand new account uh, so far all I know a new brand new account can only be created on Android I know nothing about iOS <laughs> so <laughs> Uh, I don't think you can create a new account on iOS unless it's on a different device. All right. Now on Android, uh, you, what you're going to need to create a brand new account, you're going to need a brand new Facebook account. Uh, and that's basically all you want. So you need to create a brand new Facebook account so you can save your new game progress on that Facebook account. Uh, so you can then switch from accounts uh, via Facebook. All right. So let's jump on into how you switch or how you create a brand new account. All right, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna log into your Facebook account. So you wanna close out the game. You wanna log in into your Facebook account. Make sure you're on your brand new account that you've just created. Uh, we've just created this account for Facebook. All right, so make sure you're on your brand new account that you just created. After that, you wanna then go and go to your Google games and you want to make sure you change the Google game settings. If you tap on settings here, don't want any of my. All right. If you tap on your Google account there, you want to come down to your data. Then you want to click on change account for games and you want to make sure you select for F1 clash acts always. All right. So you want to put it on always ask for F1 clash. All right, so the game will always ask you to put in your email address. It won't sign in you automatically to your old email address that will have your old save data on it. All right, after you do that, uh, then you want to go uh, to settings here. You want to go to apps. You want to locate your F1 manager account uh, app. Once you find your F1 manager app, you want to tap on that. And then you want to go to storage and you want to clear all F1 manager data. All right. So by clearing all F1 manager data, uh, that's going to allow the game to start fresh. All right. So then you want to load up your app. So this is where the game is going to ask you to sign in uh, to your email. Uh, and you want to not sign in into any email. All right. So you want to close that out. Don't sign in into any email when the game asks you to sign into your email. All right, you want to close that out and you want to go to this screen. Once you're on this screen, then you want to click start to start a new account. If you have an old account that you want to sign in, you would then click sign in with Facebook right there. And then the game will load your old account. But because we're not loading a old account, we're starting a new account. So after I've started this account, I'm going to do that exact same process again, where I go to this, the app, I clear the game data. I set the google play on ax always uh, and then i'll come back to this window and then i'll just tap on sign in on facebook right there make sure my facebook account is on the main account uh, and then again we'll just load into the get the main account but because we're starting fresh uh, we don't want to hit sign in there we want to tap and answer the call uh, that's coming in from olivia here uh, and then we're just going to tap to through that uh, and it's going to load into a brand new team all right so we select our livery I like this one 
Uh, we're gonna go with black and then we're gonna go with a dark green color here my national flag yeah and then we're gonna tap on that all right so then you want to tap in you want to start up your first race and I'm gonna show you how to save uh, this progress it's gonna go into the tutorial here you cannot skip the tutorial as you're a new player uh, in the game So you have to go through the tutorial so you get an understanding if you're a brand new player coming into the game you have an understanding of how the game plays all right so i have this trick that i like to use when i'm doing the tutorial uh, when they start to tell you about drivers you can select both drivers all right they're gonna uh, show you the powers if you just cut them down uh, to low you probably don't have to go to pit for the remaining three laps all right and the game does right here but you could select power all right you could select power so you could just cut them down right there to low the game did not design <laughs> you to put the power down to low like that and just let them run and we'll only go to pit because we'll have to go to pit uh, as it's part of the tutorial and I think Bricks is the one who's going to go to pit. All right, we could rotate cameras. Yes. We could zoom in and out. Yep. Zoom in and out. Rotate cameras. Yep. Go to full screen. Yep. Got it. So he's the one who's, who will be going to pit while we'll be going around uh, to finish with this driver. All right, so they have not signaled yet for the go to pit orders. All right, here comes the go to pit orders. So we're going to go to pit. Uh, we're going to bring him back to some fresh softs. One thing I've noticed they haven't in, in I wonder if they've included the that I don't see they've included the servicing bar here in the tutorial. I guess it did it wasn't updated to the servicing bar. So I guess they, they didn't update it to the servicing bar. It's like basically the original tutorial that was there before. And then the pits, the pit orders was a way late, so we end up, we ending up running out of tires here. So we can then boost our zero tires to go to the finish. So there was no servicing bar, and the pit orders came in late. So the tutorial is a bit messed up, uh, Hutch. The starting tutorial needs to be. Uh, change it over because we need to have that service in bar in there as new players coming into the game you need to teach these new players uh, about the service in bar if they're not going to be learning about the service in bar then that's going to be tough yeah because they're 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 going to have to adapt to the service in bar in the first race all right so they want me to tap to unlock to get my first two drivers I'm waiting for the timer to run out. I'm not going to spend one box. <laughs> I'm not spending one box. I'm waiting for the timer to run out. Then I'll open that crate. Trying to pull a one box spending from me all nice and early, huh? Not spending one box. So I'm going to wait for that timer to run out. Then I'm going to tap on it and save my one box. So 50k coins, 50k bucks, 50, 50 bucks, I should say, not 50k, 50 bucks. Then we got two Kevin Magnuson and two Juan Yuzhou. All right. So those are going to be our main driver. All right. All right. So now they're saying that we should switch out our new drivers or test drivers for our new drivers. So we're going to switch them out real quick. There we go. 
and back home. All right. So pit pass is not available at the moment. Come back soon. So I guess as we start to play a few races, then the pit pass will come up. Now, when you hit this account, this this uh, par portion of the game, uh, if you just tap here at connect to Facebook, then you tap here to sign in with your Facebook, you're going to get a free platinum crate. Now, when you go here to sign in with Facebook, you want to sign in that Facebook to that brand new account. All right, so you tap on continue as that brand new account because you have that account logged in into your Facebook. This is the reason why it's set that way. So you have the account logged in. As you can see right here, it's saying unable to log in uh, to try again some form of error there. Uh, not our fault. So we'll try again uh, to sign in with our Facebook account, our brand new Facebook account. So there's no F1 Clash game progress. Uh, oh, so it's saying try again in an hour. Anyways, so you tap there uh, to log in your brand new account. Save your brand new account to that Facebook account. So once you've saved the da game data to that Facebook account, whenever you want to come to this account, all you got to do is a switch uh, your Facebook account and do the same process over again. Uh, to run it back all right so here's a pro tip for you guys if you're just coming into the game you're brand new into the game uh, and you're coming into the game you don't want to start racing right away uh, right here here is a pro tip for you uh, if you come over to the shop here you'll see series one legendary crate is at 90 bucks all right so if you're going to be spending some money into the game if you're not going to be playing a completely free to play right here would be the best part the best investment you can make into the game uh, is to get some bucks here always remember if you're going to be buying bucks you want to wait until there is a gp offer uh, then you could buy the bucks the same amount of bucks that you're going to buy here uh, is the same amount of bucks you would buy down here so you never want to buy these bucks down here you always want to wait for a gp offer uh, and then you want to buy the same amount of bucks for basically the same amount of money uh, where you get some free boosts you get some extra boosts and you get an extra crate all right so if you're going to be buying some bucks here uh, you want to take so let's say you buy 8,500 bucks you want to come here and use all that 8,500 bucks to buy these legendary crates uh, which is going to be 90 bucks all right with about 7,000 bucks worth of legendary crates you're going to max out everybody all assets that are going to be in series one uh, and there you can unlock your asset trading feature uh, which will allow you to trade your maxed out assets excess excess max out assets for new assets all right so from right there and asset trading you could possibly trade a maxed out level one mick schumacher uh, series one part for a max out not maxed out for a level one series 12 part just at the beginning of the game without even doing one race you you can possibly trade uh for a lewis hamilton or a max verstappen series 12 epics right away from asset trading all right so that's a little pro tip if you're going to be spending money on the game if you're not going to be spending money on the game don't worry about that uh, you have nothing to worry about you could start racing uh using your kevin magnuson and using your parts that you currently have which is zero uh to get your first crate uh just tap on that and tap on your first race duels uh to get your first race all right at this stage you won't be able to enter into gp events because you're in the rookie league there is the rookie league right there so you're in the rookie league uh, at this point so you won't be able to enter into any gp events until you hit the juniors league if you tip tap here uh, so you need to be at the top of the rookie league by the end of the week and then you will get promoted to juniors one and that's when you can enter gp events uh, even though you probably don't want to enter into gp events but if you if you spend some money on the game and you maxed out uh those series one epics uh then you go over into the juniors division you can definitely perform uh in the gp events uh and possibly win a lot because <laughs> your pop your, your assets series one assets are going to be maxed out so you're going to definitely be beating a lot of players in the juniors uh gp all right so that's basically going to be it for this one 
Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Are you planning to start a brand new account? Use super sale code word uh, super sale. So let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys who watch a full video to all your support. Uh, another pro tip is the free ads, free coins right at the top there. Make sure you take that uh, and also take these free boosts uh, from ads right here. Three each day uh, as well. All right. So that's basically going to be it. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Well, good guys. Bye.